The first task that we have to do is called normalization. We will be assessed uh, on normalization, yeah? We will be given a table that I will show you later, and we have to normalize that table. So we have to understand what this practice of normalization is, yeah? So let's imagine that this table is this group of people here. Within this group of people, we see the orange people, the red people, and the green people. Each group has its own parent that we labeled as ID. Yeah? Now, when we have an ID that is unique, yeah? that is, we all have an ID. We all have a passport number and it is unique. That is our ID. It identifies us. Yeah? Let's see what we do in this normalization and uh, we will conclude what is written up here in a bit, yeah? So let's take a parent, first of all, an ID and separate them into their own family. So we get the orange ID first, the orange parent, following uh, the dependence, yeah? The dependence of that parent. It's the orange kids, let's say, yeah? Then what happens is we leave behind a link to the old family. That's how normalization works, yeah? So we have to leave a virtual or a clone of a parent that we took away back into the old group. So now let's take the red family away into its own separate little group. There's the parent, and now following the children, the dependents, yeah? They depend on that parent. They're all red. Now, as we said before, we have to leave a copy of the parent back into the old family. Uh, you, we have it. And we group, because we're only left with the greens and the old family, yeah? From uh, the original family, we group them all together like so. And with that animation, you can have an idea, a first idea of what we're doing when we're normalizing, yeah? We're putting each family in its own group. You can see here that the greens are, seem to be not in their own group, but what happens, that is the original family, yeah? When we separate one group away from the original family, we leave an identifier an ID, a parent, a clone of a parent, back in the group, yeah? So, normalization is like moving the members of a group to the family they depend on and leaving behind a virtual parent ID to keep a link to the original group. So, these two groups are still linked to the original group via the IDs, yeah? That is just a primitive idea of what normalization is. So now we're going to get in the next video. We will watch how this is done by using a table with data.